Hi, Tom with Imagine Form, and today we are going to go over the trace feature on the Glowforge. This is a very convenient feature. I thought it was a little gimmicky, but it's actually pretty fun. Kids love it, but it's also got some practical uses too. So it's, I'm just going to draw a quick, uh, kind of a starburst outline here. We're going to go over a little bit how the Glowforge sees your sketches or scans the bed image. It goes, you can cut and you can engrave. Um, and the engrave is just a black or white engrave. So what it's going to do when it looks at it is it's going to give you the option to select where you want to cut. So what areas you want to cut away. So right now, if I select out here, it'll cut out that starburst. Um, I'm going to put my initials in here, in block letters. So now if I select out here, it'll cut that out, and if I select on the inside, it'll cut that out as well. Um, so the other thing it can do is engrave. So if we just do some polka dots maybe, color those in. All right, well, that's good enough for a test. All right, let's bring it over to the Glowforge and see what it looks like. So I'm just putting it in there, pretty much um, lined up in the center. Close the lid, you can see the camera is right over it. So it'll now scan it, take a quick picture of it, and now we're going to go over the computer. Okay, here we are at the Glowforge uh, homepage, app.glowforge.com, and we're going to go to the trace function up here. Hit trace, we can see our artwork, and it wants us to drag a square around what we want to cut out. Uh, so this is the entire bed. It's obviously just taking a picture of the middle. You want to be pretty close. You don't want it too big, uh, otherwise it'll have a harder time discerning what you want to cut. Once you drag the square around it, it brings you to this screen and it basically turns it into a black and white image. Uh, you can zoom in a little here. You can see that's pretty much what we have. If we hold down the control and press the up arrow, it increases the contrast. Uh, it is web-based, uh, cloud-based, so our internet's slow, so it takes a, a little while for it to react. So you can see the it's getting lighter the lines are getting thinner now here the lines are too thin here there's white coming through here so if we try to cut that out it won't no it needs to be a sealed completely closed shape so we are going to go back down control down and that looks pretty good it looks like there might be a spot right there on the s that's been down there we'll do control down one more time and that looks pretty good so this is click the white areas you want to cut away so I'm just going to click out here oops sorry we need to be on the, the arrow not the hand click out here and it's that showing you where it's going to cut and click in there click in there and so the pink lines are what's going to cut and everything else will engrave if we want it to Up here in the upper right, uh, plays artwork, and this will bring you to the the main cutting page. All right, so this is the image of our bed. This is a piece of paper um, that we just traced over, and this is our image. So we can actually grab that now and move it. So that's still the piece of paper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a piece of proof grade, probably plywood. 
and take out the piece of paper that we had our drawing on. Alrighty, so here's a piece of paper. Take that out. This is a sheet of medium hard maple plywood. So, see that right there. Alright, so I dropped in the sheet of medium hard maple plywood and you can see it refreshed the bed image and changed it to medium maple plywood up here. Uh, again, this is our artwork. Here we can scale it. It's a linear scale. We can't uh, stretch it. Like if you grab here, it's just going to get bigger and smaller. You can't uh, stretch or compress it or warp the image at all. Um, so it's a true scale there. And over here on the left, we've got an engrave and a cut. So you can see, let me zoom in here. Uh, when you hover over here, it's showing you what's going to be engraved. So it's not only engraving the dots, but also the little black lines around, uh, you know, where where I drew it. Um, and then this is the cut. You can see that highlight. Uh, that's it. We can just drag this into position where we want it to cut. Get over here. And because it's proof grade material, all our engraved settings are in there. Our cut settings are in there as well. Um, so that's it print scan your material upload your design and then it will give you um, your readout on your time here okay now it says push the start button on the glowforge and it'll be 16 minutes and 26 seconds uh, most of that is engraving and the actual cut time will probably be less than a minute all right let's go see what it does All right, and there's the finished piece. And it's proof grade, so it's got the masking on it, which we can peel off. Pretty simple. So there you have it. There's the trace feature. Um, pretty nice, like it said. Kids love it. Um, I've also used it for cutting out uh, gaskets. Gaskets have ripped when taking them out. You can throw it in there, color in the spots that are ripped, and cut a new one out of gasket material. All right, thanks for watching.